Hello, my name is Munize Jahangir. I'm from Pakistan, from Aaj TV. And my question to you over here is that the Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari made a bold move by coming here. And it is being seen as a breakthrough. He is also being criticized. But how do you, India, see it? Do you see it as a breakthrough? And what will be your roadmap in the future to resumption of at least diplomatic ties with Pakistan? Sir, uh, uh, four questions. I'll hand over uh, to you, sir. Uh, देखिए तीन सवाल जो हैं वो पाकिस्तान पर थे एक सवाल जो है वो चाइना पर था तो ये तीन सवाल जो पाकिस्तान वाले सवाल जो हैं मैं एक साथ लेना चाहूँगा ताकि बिकॉज दे आर ओवरलैपिंग क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी से दिस एज अ फॉरेन मिनिस्टर ऑफ एन एस मेंबर स्टेट मिस्टर भुटो जरदारी वॉज ट्रीटेड अकॉर्डिंगली as a promoter justifier uh, and i'm sorry to say spokesperson of a terrorism industry which is the mainstay of pakistan his positions were called out and they were countered including at the seo meeting itself so let me come to the specifics uh on the uh china pakistan uh, economic corridor this so called corridor i think it was made very clear not once but twice in the seo meeting that uh, connectivity is good for progress but connectivity cannot violate the territorial integrity and sovereignty of states so this has been our long standing position nobody should have any doubt about it and i assure you those who are in the room today had no doubt about it i made sure of that regarding aapka dusra jo tha wo g20 ke bare mein tha now you know i don't think there is a g20 issue to debate with anybody certainly not with a country which is nothing to do with the g20 ab it jammu and kashmir was is will always be a part of india and the g20 meetings are held in all the indian states and union territories so it is completely natural uh, that it is held there jo aapka jo dusra sawal jo tha ki from what i understood that uh, india and pakistan should sit together you know victims of terrorism do not sit together with perpetrators of terrorism to discuss terrorism victims of terrorism defend themselves counter uh, acts of terrorism they call it out they delegitimize it and that is exactly what is happening so to come here and preach this uh, hypocritical words uh, as though we are on the same boat i mean they are uh, they are committing acts of terrorism and you know i don't want to jump the gun on what happened today but i think we're all feeling equally outraged so uh, so i i think i mean let's let's be very very clear on this you know on this matter the terrorism matter i mean i i would say uh, pakistan's uh, credibility is depleting even faster than its forex reserves so so you know let's let's be clear what this is about uh, on uh, your question uh you know is this a breakthrough look he came here as a member a foreign minister of an seo member state that is part of multilateral diplomacy don't please do not see it as anything more than that it was not meant as anything more than that it was not treated as anything more than that and i think nothing that from what he said or what i heard he said uh deserves for this to be treated more than Uh, that uh the china question um look uh, my understanding uh, of uh, what the chinese said i th- i think they used the word stable if i'm not mistaken i i i don't think uh, that's the issue i think the issue is that uh, there is an abnormal position in the boundary areas a uh, border areas uh, along the boundary uh and uh, we uh, had a very frank discussion about it 
it's not the first discussion. I had spoken to uh, Foreign Minister Chingang uh, on the sidelines of the G20 as well. Uh, so uh, uh, we have to take the disengagement process forward. And uh, uh, I have made it very clear, uh, frankly, publicly as well. And my, you know, what I say within the room is not different from what I say outside, which is that India-China relations are not normal and cannot be normal if the peace and tranquility in the border areas is disturbed. I, you know, I've been very, very clear about it. I've been very consistent about it. And I have not changed my position uh, on, at this meeting either. Thank you, sir. Uh, listen, before, in the interest of efficiency, please do not repeat similar questions or try to come back to it. I think, um, so I'll take fresh questions on that, Maha. Yeah. Uh, sir, Maha Siddiqui from NDTV. Sir, how does India view uh, being part of an organization which is now largely being viewed as an anti-West grouping? Yeah, Neeraj. Sir, Neeraj, who news it in India, you said that G20 is Pakistan, but you didn't say Bilawal Bhutto, who is sitting in Srinagar, who is sitting in the past, that they will remember this statement. How do you see this statement? Look, there will be a specific question. I think I've given the answer. I'll give the answer. Yes, sir, please go ahead. One second, no, no, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Dmitry Melnikov from Russian TV. Sir, was Ukrainian crisis part of today's discussion? And did Mr. Lavrov tell you about the recent attack on Kremlin in Moscow? And what is your point of view? Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you, microphone coming to you. No, no, him, yeah. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, Rishikesh, uh, Press Trust of India. Say. Uh, sir, uh, Park FM also said that uh, we should not get caught up in weaponizing terrorism for diplomatic point scoring. So, uh, uh, what are your views on this? Manish, you want? Manish, yeah. Microphone. <laughs> we'll take this file. Now. Sir, Manish Chan, India Rights Network. Just before his meeting with you, uh, Chinese uh, Foreign Minister was addressing a function in honor of Dr. Kotnis. Uh, where he spoke about people-to-people -people contacts and finding a new path of peaceful coexistence. Did you see any signaling towards, uh, you know, some sort of peace move, some sort of restructuring uh, of engagement? Manish, she answered this question. Anyway, no, uh, I, thank you, sir. Still, the people-to-people -people part is important. Uh, okay, uh, uh, let me start with the anti-West. You know, uh, is is uh, uh, SCO perceived as an anti-Western grouping? Look, how people perceive it is something I cannot answer for. What I can say is it is a grouping uh, where membership serves India's interests. India has a multi-directional foreign policy with many partners, uh, and it's not always necessary or sometimes possible that all partners get along with other partners. 